All right, I've pretty well tore up the head that I started, the second one. I I just didn't like it at all, and it was getting worse and worse as I worked on it. So I'm going to go back to trying to re redo this head here. I, I'm just, the eyes are just too old, so I'm going to have to rework those. Be right back. Time to play with some clay. All right, I've taken off the hair and I'm going to cut her head off. <laughs> Sounds drastic, but uh, it's got to be done. All right, I've uh, decapitated her. And I didn't show that because it might be a little too intense for some people. <laughs> I'm trying to soften her eyes a little bit. I had a good face. I just was not satisfied with the eyes. And uh, I went about it the wrong way. I should have just stuck with what I got and just re repaired that part that was not right. And uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. The eyelids form over the eyeball. And if you don't reflect that roundness on the eyelid, it won't look right. And I was not doing that. And that's what bothered me. Now, no two sides of a human face is exactly alike, but you got to have balance, and it's got to be close. But you can't possibly get both sides exactly the same. Okay, I think I'm about ready to put this back on her head. Just got a few more things to clean up. Sorry I wasn't here yesterday. I 
was feeling under the weather yesterday. Uh, feeling great today. I'm putting some Ronsonol on her face. It helps to smooth her face. Now, I know that you that follow me for years have heard this a million times. But I got a lot of people who don't follow me all the time and they probably just did, don't know what I'm doing. The uh, Ronsonol has a tendency to melt the clay just a little and it takes care of little rough areas and kind of blends them in. And it also shows me things that I got to, to still work on. So it's always good to do this. Okay. I just got to make sure I get the head on right. All right, I see a couple of problems I'm going to have to e work with. And uh, one of them is the length of her neck. I want to lengthen her neck just a little bit more. But it's going to put a strain on this uh, hairstyle. I may have to redo this uh, whole braid here. And uh, I'm not happy with this arm at all. So I may have to redo a little bit of this thing here too. Let's just take it one step at a time here and just uh, try to get this all worked out. All right, I'm going to come back tomorrow. I'm not uh, totally satisfied right now. So there's still a lot of work to be done. All right, everybody, have a great night, and I'll see you uh, next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.